morning right now it's like 11 o'clock um i woke up really late today because i had a late night editing yesterday but yeah man um i don't know i woke up feeling very slow today and a little bit like some feeling that i used to have like a long time ago it was the majority of my feeling at the time but it was it was just the feeling of like you know feeling defeated and slow and very very lonely like i would always be surrounded by people right wherever i go like always always surrounded by people i'm a i'm a person that was ve- that is very very quiet but throughout my varsity and stuff like i had a lot of friends and yeah even being surrounded by people you'd still have moments where you just feel lonely and stuff and yeah with this moment like and how i feel feeling slow and stuff like like it just made me like actually like think about it's okay to wake up feeling this way sometimes and sometimes it's okay to wake up feeling like you can take over the world but with this feeling right now i just decided like i can actually turn it up just because sometimes being slow gives you a moment to just reflect and look at life and just slow everything down because there's so many moving parts sometimes we actually just forget to just reflect on the things that are good and the things that are bad in our lives and yeah this morning is one of those mornings where it gives me the opportunity to reflect and think about the reason why i started to create these vlogs in the first place because when when i was feeling down at the time i would watch these vlogs of people staying alone and how they found solace and comfort in them staying alone which is the topic of this vlog <laughs> finding comfort or comfort so i said to myself let me when i create vlogs i want to create a space where when someone comes to watch these vlogs they're watching these vlogs they feel some form of comfort within the vlogs and my vlogs as you can see always have a message because uh, I, i really love for someone when watching this to take away something that they can apply to their lives and yeah comfort today man um Oh, it's a tough one because it makes me feel about all the sad feelings and uh you know what I've gone through throughout my life and yeah it's it's a bit of a difficult one. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this bath now as well and then yeah, after I take this bath, I've been running a bath of uh, um I've been running a warm bath um and I don't usually take baths and I think like me actually taking a bath today is 
that may be something that I can <laughs> sit down, reflect, and just find, like, have be comfortable and find comfort, like, in just sitting with my thoughts and stuff. I actually ordered Checker 6060. These are uh, fruits for my oats uh, now. And oh, I actually think the guys here. Yeah, well, yeah, let me grab that. Oh, I think you truly something special. Just when my dreams are really made up. Let's stay together, you and me, girl. There's no one like you around. Got my strawberries. They didn't bring me strawberries, man. So that actually sucks. So I got bananas, berries, and more berries. Plain yogurt. I'm just gonna mix it all like in the oats, and then I'm gonna journal. And after journaling, I'm just gonna go to the gym. Let's go. At this moment, I spared you guys like the process of making oats because I'm doing too much with it now. But we <laughs> oats, guys, the best. Want to journal now for a bit, like even if it's like 15 minutes. I want. I'm getting into the habit of journaling, just writing down how I feel. And yeah, man, I I did write. I did write down some some few stuff and I think let me just read to you guys what I wrote so I remember the feeling that dominated my past three or four years it was a feeling of loneliness feeling of emptiness and a feeling of self-doubt in some of, in some form of in some form of desperate act I found myself looking for an escape I found many forms of temporary escapes in the past, alcohol, parties, etc. But those things are things that are not true to who I am, or were not true to who I am. I don't think I enjoy getting drunk. I don't think I enjoy doing the things that make me lose productivity. This made me fall into a deeper hole until I found videography. I am and always have been a creative. I just think I didn't know it. This brought me to the biggest comfort. This has brought me the biggest comfort. Every time I create and look at my work, it feels like a consistent warm hug for two weeks straight until I have to create again. So the moral of the story is never stop creating, Rich. Love. Rich from January 2024. Remember those walls I built, and baby, they're tumbling down, and they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound I found a way to let you in But I never really had a doubt Standing in the light of your halo I guess I got my angel now Yeah, man. 
so I'm about to head to the gym and I haven't done boxing in a while so yeah I think I'm gonna do a little bit of some boxing and then yeah man exercise a little bit <sighs> but yeah in this moment I just want to ask you guys you know, what are the things that that bring you the most comfort you know think about the moment when you were at your like at your lowest and what brought you comfort and the things that brought you comfort then do you still appreciate them now or do you still exercise yeah Asha? Look at oh. I don't think he's at the gate, but he could see me from somewhere. Remember I just told you guys about like losing interactions with people? I really enjoyed the conversations with my security guard when I leave the place. Because he's from my hometown, man. So it's always nice to hear someone that speaks a familiar language to you. Yeah. I was born by the river And a little old tent Oh, just like the river I've been running Ever since It's been a long Long time coming but I know change is going to come. Oh, yes, it oh. will. It's been oh. too hard to live. Oh. And I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there. Beyond the sky, it's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change is gonna come. Oh, yes, it will, and I go to the moon. And I go downtown Somebody keep telling me don't Don't you hang around It's been a long Long time coming But I know Change is gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah, I got my favorite comfort food, man. Um, a quarter. Guys, <laughs> this quarter bangs. I don't wanna put their name out there because it's food from now. But. Yo, guys, this got the bangs. Like, I'm so excited for it right now. Oh my god. Three, two, one. Mm. Mm. Oh. Guys, you know there's some food that like you bite it and then like you still have to process the flavors and whether this thing tastes good or not. This is not one of those. This is a straight banger. It like it bangs at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I got back from the gym 
on my way back from the gym, I picked up this um, Kodam and some drinks as well. I wanted, I really wanted to go out today, like go out, have a few drinks and stuff with some friends, but like, can I be honest? Like, I went through my like my phone and just try to see who I can contact to go out for like maybe like genuinely contact and have a chill session with and it was so difficult like to just actually hit up some people because my friends I've got I'm in such a weird place because I've got like corporate friends and friends that are like in relationships and getting married sorting out their families and stuff and I'm still in like the content create, creating space as well. And yeah, I've got two sides of friendships where like I'm kind of new to the content creating space. So like I'm, I'm a bit insecure with just hitting like content creators up to just chill and go out for drinks because I feel like <laughs> I haven't been like in there long enough or or it's just sort of like created the genuine friendships with them to just hit them up at random times to just go out but yeah okay and then i'll see if my maybe one of my friends comes through maybe we can game or maybe i can hit up all my old friends uh, my close friends and then we'll just hop on the game and just game and then i'll interact with them from there also um guys I always read your comments. I read every single one of your comments. I see every single one of your comments. So please don't stop commenting. Comment, share, like, hit the notifications bell. I just wanna read some message that I got from someone. I'm gonna keep it anonymous. Hey Richard, I'm a Namibian male who got out of jail three months ago and your videos keep me going. It's hard when family and friends don't want to be around you due to, par due to your past, but I'm trying to change my life around and look for a job and not steal every time I go hungry. I want to steal, but then I watch your videos and get a word or two out of it. Thank you. So this message is, it just really touched me because like I, I woke, like I told you, I woke up in a, like such a weird circumstance feeling sad and sometimes like God like humbles you like just to show you maybe that your situation is not really that bad or you're not really going through much although your feelings of what you're going through should always be valid but yeah there's always someone that's going through like way way worse and for me to create content that feels like it has touched you or inspired you in some way is in itself such a big blessing, such a, like a, I could say like a booster, inspirational booster to just create more. But anyway, let me get back to my comfort food. You guys want to see what's in there? It's uh, fries, rib, eggs, chakalaka. And yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. So I need to put um, these floating shelves. I need to place these for, uh, I need to draw these floating shelves up here so that I can pack all of my equipment properly. Right now, there isn't enough space to put them on this shelf right here, and it's becoming so crazy. So yeah, I still, I'm still unsure whether I should go with like a, a two of them up here, one, two, or if I should go with like a three stack because I've got three of them. Ah uh, ah, uh, I feel good. Da, 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 da. Stormy Sunday blues. Yeah. all right guys um thank you so so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys really really enjoyed it 
I enjoyed creating it for you. It was so much fun. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. It feels so crazy to say that I'm on 5,000 subscribers and like to utter the words road to 10,000 is, I don't, it's so scary to say. So guys, thank you, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Your comments are something that has been very, very comforting to me in this lonely creative period that I'm in because creating like these videos also takes hard work and it's lonely hours of editing and working and I appreciate the comments, the love. Thank you, thank you so, so much. You know the vibes and the vibes are immaculate. Until the next one, cheers.